Hey everyone, today in the beehives, we're gonna check for Varroa mites. So if you have a Varroa easy check system, this is how you use it. Today I will show how I use the Varroa easy check to test my hive for Varroa mites. The Varroa mites easy check is a three part system containing of a bottom, a top, and an internal filter basket. I chose to use windshield washer fluid for the test. Some use alcohol diluted in water while others will use water with Dawn soap. First I fill the bottom of the easy check with the windshield wiper fluid, making sure to fill just past the bottom of the filter basket. Next I located a section of the hive with a lot of brood and drones. Then I collected some of the bees to test for varroa mites. Some of the people collect bees by shaking a hive panel into a plastic container or shoe box to collect the bees. Then they pour them into the tester. This can upset the bees if not done correctly. I used another method. Simply brush the cup downwards along the panel and let the bees fall inside. You want to collect at least 300 bees. There is a line inside the filter basket to help indicate how many that is. Once filled with bees, I put more fluid into the easy check. Screw the top on and gently shake for 60 seconds. This will kill the bees, but also accurately filter any mites out. After I was done shaking the Varroa Easy Check, I unscrewed it to look at the remnants collected in the bottom. Any dead mites left behind would look like specks of pepper. Check the amount of mites the sample left behind, and then you can accurately calculate how much of the hive is affected. This will help you make the decision on what to do about any infestation that may have occurred. Looking at my hives, they are not drawn out the way I thought it would be. There's a few hives that has pretty full honey, and then the outside frames on the outside wall, some of them are built out, some of them are very little, and I'm just hoping for maybe this fall, once the goldenrod starts, they will build out these uh, frames. But I did not put my honey supers on because of that, because I feel that they're going to need this food for the winter. And plus, I'm probably going to wind up having to feed them some sugar water towards the fall so that they can uh, hopefully will survive the winter. But right now, everything looks good as far as varroa mites. I was hoping for a little bit more build out of comb on the frames, but I guess we've only had the bees maybe eight weeks and in between now there hasn't been a lot of flowering of plants mite count wise we're, we're next to nothing i'm pleased with looking at the honey production so far but hopefully they'll bring that up in the, the september october uh, flower blooms but otherwise than that in probably maybe four weeks we'll check the hive again and we'll see how how good we're going probably after labor day thank you for watching Stand B man. Here's some candid footage of us observing the hives and seeing how they're growing and expanding. Got bottom brood. Just a little bit of brood on the bottom there. There's a frame of brood. I'm kind of looking for the queen and I haven't seen her. back in the same well, order that they came out. Yeah. Well, this one here, I'm gonna do 
the mic check on this because there is the brood here. That's pretty good. There's honey right there. Not a lot. But it's not like they're not on these frames. A lot more bees out on this one. A lot of brood. A lot of honey too. Yeah. And they're drawing it out. This is the right way too. Half circles. That's the brood honey. and honey. Yeah, that's the honey. Oh wow. Hold on there. Real simple. Real quick. Oh, that's funny. That's a queen cell right there. Well, that's it. As Stan said, looks good on Varroa mites, hive looking healthy, finally have a little bit of honey coming in, but of course the bees will need that through the fall and winter. So this year we might not produce any honey for consumption. Checking the hives again in a few weeks. Thanks for watching. If you want to keep up with some of this, feel free to subscribe and we'll see you on another Bee Diary.